Good everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fred. So this is the part three of this video. And today we are going to be looking at how to construct an ellipse using the focal point method. Now the focal point method is also referred to as the intersecting arc method. So again, you'll be given the major axis and the minor axis. This time, let's take the major axis again to be 14 centimeters and the minor axis to be 70 centimeters, all right? So with the major axis given, you draw a line, a thin line of 14 centimeters, okay? So this is zero, this is 14, so this is 14. So that represents what? The major axis. So how do you draw the minor axis? Now you locate the center of the line and drop a perpendicular on it. So this is zero, this is four, 14. So this is seven, seven is the center, all right? So at this point, you drop a perpendicular, you can use your set square to achieve that, okay? So you drop a perpendicular at that point there, all right, a thin line extend all right so you are going to measure 70 on this line because it's the minor axis all right so how do you do that now remember if this line is going to be 70 so half of it will be what 35 so this is what 3.5 and this is 7 all right so you dot 7 you dot, dot zero. So this line here now is what? Seven centimeters, all right? So you can call this point A, call this point B, call this point C, and call this point D. Now erase any excess line you have there, all right, for clarity purpose. All right, so this is C, this is D, all right. Now, what you do next is you locate the focus of the ellipse. How do you do that? Now, measure half of the major axis. So, you needle, let's call this point here zero. All right, so you needle on zero, stretch to A. So, this is half the length of what the major axis. So, with this radius, do not alter it. You needle on C and cut line AB at this point. Then with same radius, you cut line AB at this point. So these are the, fo the foci. Call this F1 and call this F2. So both, both of these points are the what? The foci of the what? of the ellipse, all right? All right, so what you do next is you, uh, with your pair of compass, you step off five divisions on this line, all right? Uh, F1, O, all right? But make sure as you step off the five divisions, it, it doesn't exceed the point O, all right? So with a radius, a reasonable radius of your choice from here, from the focus here, F1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's okay, all right? You can step off 6 and so on, but 5 is just fine, all right? Now remember, you might discover that in the process of dividing this line, the fifth one might exceed the point O. That's because the radius of your pair compass is too much. So you can reduce it a little bit, all right, and start all over and step up five equal divisions. All right, so after doing that, then you come over. Needle on A, this point here, A, stretch to one. All right, now with this radius, A1. Now, needle on, with this radius, A1, needle on the focus, all right? Now ensure you do not alter the radius A1, all right? It should be fixed, all right? So you needle here on the focus. You draw an arc on the top. Sorry about that. You draw an arc here, and you draw an arc at the bottom. 
Then with the same radius, you come over to F2. You draw an arc on the top. And you draw an arc on the bottom like this. All right? So that is what A1. Do you understand? Now you now come and stretch. You come over and stretch B1. So you needle on B. You stretch 1. All right? So with B1, you now needle on F2. F2. You cut this arc. And you cut this arc. Then you needle on F1 using that the radius B1. Cut the arc here and you cut the arc here. Now remember, you might discover that in the process of cutting this arc, all right, you may discover that initially it wasn't long enough. You can always come back and draw the arc. Make it longer, okay? So that is for what? Uh, A1, all right, and B1. Now we'll now move to A2. All right, you stretch A2. Okay, so this is my A2. So with that A2, you needle on F. You draw an arc on top. Draw an arc down. You needle on F2. Draw an arc on top. You draw an arc down. Then you come as you come over here and stretch B2. Alright? With B2, you needle on F2. You cut that arc. Cut. Then you needle on F1. You cut the, the arc you drew first. And you cut. So you have two points. Alright? So you move over to A3. Just do the same thing up to A5. Okay, so this is A3. You needle on F1. You draw an arc here. Draw an arc here. You needle on F2 with same radius. You draw an arc here. You draw an arc here. Alright, then you stretch B2. Sorry, B3. We're on 3. Alright? So you use with B3, you needle on F2, cut that arc, cut this arc, then you needle on F1, you cut this arc, and you cut this one. So you continue for 4 and 5. Okay, so by the time you're done, you have this point of intersection, alright? Then remember, this point D is going to be a point on the ellipse, the point B is going to be a point on the ellipse, C is going to be a point on the ellipse, and A is going to be a point on the ellipse. So you use a French curve or flexible curve to connect the points. All right, so there you have it, the focal point method, also called the intersecting arc method, okay? So if you do not know how to connect, once again, if you do not know how to connect uh, points on an ellipse, there is a video I did uh, on how to connect the points, okay? Using a French curve and if a, a flexible broomstick you can uh, go back to those videos and check them out. All right.